Hello, everybody, and welcome to Millionaire. If you are a fan of American Idol, you might recognize today's first contestant. She was one of the top ten girls in season five before Simon, Randy, and Paula sent her packing from Mount Vernon, New York. Please welcome Brenna Gethers. Hey, Brenna. Hi, Meredith. Hi, Hi audience. You are excited, huh? I am so excited. I have been screaming at you and contestants through my TV for years. So I am so excited to be here. And we're so excited to have you Thank because you. we loved watching you perform on American Idol. So Thank what you. was that like? Oh my goodness. It was a great experience. It was a big risk that I took. Literally I had nine days to the audition, really no singing experience. My mom said, American Idol, can you sing? And I said, Mom, I'm going to give it my best. And I was top 10 girls. So I, know, I did hello. it. I did it, guys. You sure did. And your mom, Robin, is in the audience. Robin, you had no idea your daughter had no idea. pipes, huh? None whatsoever. I but was kind of a little nervous. Yeah, a little. Are you nervous about this? Oh, no. Oh, she's all right. She's, gonna, she's matured since then. She's smart. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I know oh. she's smart. Well, Brenna, yes. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you, Have Meredith. fun out here. Thank you. Thank Let's you. see the money in your round one. Okay. Okay, computer, please randomize the money. Now, here are the categories to your questions. Computer, please randomize the categories. And now that everything is shuffled, are you ready? Yes, Meredith, I'm ready to play millionaire. <laughs> what is are you ready? <laughs> then let's play millionaire. All right, Brenna. The American Tap Dance Foundation runs a scholarship program named after what Hollywood actor? Raul Julia, Christopher Walken, Gregory Hines, Jeff Goldblum. Okay, Meredith, I'm gonna take it slow. Um, and I'm gonna think this one out. American tap dance, I did do some tap in my uh, former years. Um, Raul Julia doesn't sound familiar to me. The wowie wow wow, Christopher Walken, Jeff, the fly I think Jeff is. I'm gonna go and say C, Gregory Hines because he is a tap dancer. Final answer, Meredith. Great, great dancer, Gregory Hahn. You got it right. Welcome. Good start, Brenna. First one out. Let's see how much money is behind this question. $2,000. Oh, I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it, Meredith. You take, I'll it. take it. We're giving it to you. Woo. 13 questions away from a million dollars. Bottle bands is the category. Concerned parents have pushed the FDA to ban the plastic additive BPA from baby bottles because it may act like what hormone in the body? Melatonin, insulin, adrenaline, estrogen. BPA from baby bottles because it may act like what hormone? You know what, this sounds like if you know it, you know it, and if you don't, you don't. And I don't have any kids yet, so I'm going to ask the audience. I'm oh. just gonna ask the audience. No problem, audience. Brenda needs your help. On your keypads, vote now. Sixty-two percent believe it is estrogen. Oh my goodness, Meredith, that makes me really concerned. I'll tell you why. Why? I'll, I'll be very honest. Now, I've already asked the audience, so I can say how I feel now because they said estrogen, and I'm really concerned about that. But adrenaline keeps you from going to sleep, and melatonin makes you sleepy. Estrogen, you know what? I, look, I'm not going to second guess it. I, I hate to do this. I'm gonna jump the question. I'm not looking back. I'm sorry, audience. Thank you for your help. But that was not even on my radar, and I'm nervous. I'm jumping it. Final answer. Okay. Whew. Did you breathe at all during that? Not, not a once. Not a once. All right, you jumped the question. You don't have to answer. Let's see if it was estrogen or... Ah, it was estrogen. Okay, it's all right. Audience, I'm sorry, audience. I'm sorry, audience. Let's see what you jumped over, Brenna. 3,000. Not bad. Not, Not bad. that bad. In your words, Meredith, you're 12 away from the million, right? Yes. All right, let's go. Name that horse. Wait. You're doing my job. No, 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 Meredith. No, no, no. Oh, no, Meredith. <laughs> you're 12 away from a million. Let's go. Na I think I heard that somewhere. Name that horse. Inspired by one of the world's greatest athletes, the owners of a thoroughbred racehorse in Britain 
have named it what? Usain Colt, Pony Hawk, LeBronco James, Raphael Nadal. Now, <laughs> quite funny. <laughs> um, I am going to, again, think this out, uh, race horse. Um, I would say a fast Usain Bolt Colt may, it sounds right, I'm not gonna overguess it, a Meredith, hold on now. I never said final answer, never said it, never said it. I didn't hear it. Okay, good. What? I'm gonna say Usain Colt a final answer. It is Usain Colt. <laughs> I'm sweating and I kept my shoes on. I'm happy about that. I'm so <laughs> excited right now, guys. Well, it's very exciting. $27,000 in the bank. <sighs> wow. 11 wow. away from a million. Okay. Seven away from round two. You know, at that point, you get to keep all my money in my bank. Yes, ma'am. And you still have a lifeline left. You ready right. to keep playing? I'm ready to play, Meredith. Okay, then okay. let's play, Brenna. Thank you. Believing that happy animals make better meat, a French cattle farmer has created Vin Bovine, a finer tasting beef, by giving cows a daily dose of what? Brie cheese, creme brulee, red wine, buttered toast. Well, I thought they were giving them something even better than that, but um, since these are my choices, brie cheese um, would really, I mean, it's great. It makes you happy, but and creme brulee is great. I love butter toast. You know, every day walking to school, I used to get some butter toast and a little hot chocolate. So that would make me happy. But I'm gonna just be really logical about this one. Vin bovin. Um, I don't know too much French, but vin, I believe, is wine. Um, bovin, it's bovine, uh, without the E. And so, Meredith, I'm gonna say C, red wine, my final answer, Meredith. It is red wine, Brenna. Let's put some more money in this bank of yours. Here we go. How much? $100, okay? It's great. It's more than, exactly. more than what I came with. Exactly. More than what I came with, Meredith. More than what I came with. Ten away from a million. Okay. Potter and prose. Oh, yeah, yeah. Years before readers were introduced to Harry Potter, a kid could read about Muff Potter in what classic book? Oh, boy. Oliver Twist, The Call of the Wild, The Adventures of Tom Sawyer, To Kill a Mockingbird. Now I will say I, I like, in, like in my heart, like instinctively, like I'm leaning towards, I'm leaning towards one. It's definitely not The Call of the Wild in my book, and I don't know if I'm right or wrong, but I'm just thinking out aloud. I, I, I don't feel that, and I don't even feel about Oliver Twist. I'm leaning more towards To Kill a Mockingbird for some reason, but gosh, I read that back in the 1900s. Yeah, I did. Uh, <laughs> you know what, Meredith? I have more money than I came with, and you know, I just don't want to risk it. And of course, everyone wants to go into round two with like every lifeline, but that's just not the cards that I was dealt today. So I am going to jump the question. Final answer, just jump it, guys. Okay, we're gonna jump the question. Out of play, let's see what the correct answer is. The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. Muff Potter was the town drunk. See, I was between C and D, glad I jumped. Glad you jumped. Glad. Let's see what you jumped over. 500 again, not much. Much. All right, and by jumping the question, one question close to million. million, and in the game, now the nine game. away. You're right. And you still got big money. Big money. Royal Hotels is the category. Though it may sound like a description of a hip member of royalty, which of the following is a room option offered by Holiday Inn? Duke Pleasure Driving, Queen Delightful Dancing, King Leisure Smoking, 
Prince Extravagant <laughs> Skating. Oh wow, these are really funny. Um, now I'm just, I'm gonna not pass out is what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna go for, cause I'm totally out of lifelines and you know, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity and I'm just gonna break it down. So A, do pleasure driving. I don't think that would be um, in a hotel. Queen delightful dancing. Dancing queen kind of threw me off, I, but no. I'm leaning towards king leisure smoking or king leisure smoking, whichever way it feels like you want to say it today. Because I know there's smoking and non-smoking rooms, and then I don't even want to entertain Prince Extravagant. No, I'm not even gonna go. I'm gonna go see Final Answer, Meredith. It is king leisure smoking. Big money up there. Yes, Meredith. It's a joke. Okay. What is jokingly called the longest word in the English language because it has 5,280 feet between its first and last letters? Orient, towels, smiles, loiter. Wow, Meredith. You just threw that on me like that? Meredith, you just threw that question on me like that? Wow. What does that mean? That means I'm stumped, oh, Meredith. Oh, oh, you're stumped. Okay, well, look at it. Well, five longest word in the English language because it, 280 want... feet. Isn't that a mile? That's a mile, I think, kind of, sort of. Orient towel smiles loiter. Uh, what is joke? That, now, like, honestly, because it says jokingly, like I want to say smiles, and word longest in the English language because it has feet. It has feet between them. 5,280 feet. Okay, look, it's a once a lifetime opportunity. It says jokingly called. Uh, look, nothing up there is funny but smiles. Uh, I'm gonna go see Final Answer. Yeah, but in between it's miles. Oh. It's 5,280 feet. Oh. Smiles, you got it. Oh my God. Oh. Oh. You got it all along, Walter, but you got it. Oh my God, man. You got it, that's all that matters. Oh my God, you're sweating. yelling answers at your TV and try out to be a contestant. Oh, really? Really? Woo! Go to MillionaireTV.com and sign up now. And welcome back to Millionaire. We're here with Brenna Gethers. $35,100 in your bank. Three away from round two. You get to round two, you get to keep all the money in the bank and see that $100,000 question. Only bad news here is that you're out of lifelines. You're yes. on your own. Didn't yes. hurt you last time, though. You're right. <clears throat> so you ready to keep playing? I'm ready to play millionaire. Then let's play. <laughs> A person born on February 29th who lived the average U.S. lifespan of roughly 78 years would observe their actual birthday how many times? 10, 12, 19, 25. Okay, so this is obviously a math question. <laughs> and that means that's a leap year, baby. And then that means they celebrate every four years like the Olympics or like an election. So it really is a math question, which isn't my best subject. But I'm going to think this out, and I'm going to need to take some time to do so. No problem. Don't judge, America. Not looking good. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go with. Oh man, I'm just look. I'm just. I'm just gonna go with C. Final answer. Yes, it is. <laughs> Yes, I worked hard. 
$100. Oh, my goodness. Two questions left. One is worth $10,000. One is worth $15,000. Military lingo. In the military, which of the following words is used to describe a potentially hostile, unidentified aircraft? Bogey, fogey, hoagie, yogi. Whoa, again with the wow, Meredith, because this is, whoa. Um, okay, you know what I've deduced? You either know it or you don't know it. Yeah. it you either know it or you don't know it, kids. And I know our military personnel on the other side of the screen, they are screaming just as loudly as I was screaming at other contestants when they were in this position. So you know what? I will tell you that where, where I'm from, a bogey is like slang for a cigarette, and a fogey is like an old fogey, and a hoagie is a sandwich. And a yogi is a bear or a baseball player. Honestly, I am really flirting with B. Like, we have a really good, strong relationship. You want to make that your final? I'm going to think two more seconds. I'm going to make it my final answer. I mean, it's final answer. It's bogey. Oh. $1,000 richer, <laughs> millionaire, and meeting you. Thank you, baby. Thank you so Thank you. much. We'll be right back with more Minute Night right after this. <laughs> Welcome back to Millionaire. We are almost out of time, so instead of starting a new game, we're going to give one of our audience members a shot at winning $1,000. <laughs> and our lucky audience member is Leslie Brown. Leslie <laughs> Brown. City. Oh, lovely. Of nice course. to have you here. Thank you. You taking a day off from work or? Uh, yes. Oh. <laughs> Do they know you're here? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> well, what are you going to say when they find out? Um, that I was having a good time. Good. That's the right attitude. Yes. All right, Leslie. <laughs> so here's how it works. You're okay. going to see what would have been Brenda's next question. If she hadn't lost, you get it right, you're going to win $1,000. Okay. Which you may need when they fire your butt for not being there, okay? <laughs> so, are you ready? I'm ready. Audience, are you ready? Yeah. Then let's play millionaire. Where are the knock meal down mountains? Oh. England, Australia, Ireland, Canada. Oh. Let's see. Knock uh, meal down. Knock no. meal down. Well, knock meal down sounds a little Irish. Um, I don't think it's Canada. Mm, knock meal down. Oh boy. So it could be England or Ireland, or it could be Australia. But Australia is not known for its mountains. You know what? I think I'm going to go with my gut. I'm going to go with C, Ireland. Final answer? Final answer. Your gut is good. Yeah. It is Ireland.